This is 21st Century Reformation at 21stcr.org. Chapter 3. Chapter three. Well, Anthony, uh, you know, we're talking about how that Paul has so carefully and beautifully laid out the fundamentals of the faith. Yes. And this new uh, covenant that we're part of. He's in all this, you know, uh, that we're in Christ and complete in Christ. Uh, filled in Him. Yes. Uh, we have a, a plethora of, mm, <laughs> of all of God's work. And it's a new thing. It's right not just that. a repeat of that's Moses. Right. That's right. Oh, that's no. right. Uh, Moses was just trying to help us get to there, yes. to this. When, once we're here, we've got it. Yes. But it's, it's beautiful stuff. He lays all these things down. Yes. But then, as you say, now I think uh, he's going to turn to, uh, in the third chapter, mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, the pragmatic side of uh, Christian living, mm -hmm. daily living, with under the umbrella of those truths that he's been declaring right. in the first two chapters. So he does. He's the, true to that the form, isn't he? first, and then out of the yeah. doctrine. So yeah. we're back to you yeah. get the creed first, and right. then you love the God that you've just defined as right. one. You right. always do the awful intellectual, so-called doctrinal dull stuff. Yeah. No, you get the truth of theology. From that comes the Christian living. Right. Churches consistently get this backwards. They say, yeah. "Oh, give me preaching about having a good marriage." That's fine, but what about getting God right and Jesus right, right. and the kingdom of God right? From that, let your ethics Let's flow. That's Let's do this the Bible way. Let's get, give one thing uh, before the other. In order. Right. Yes, that's right. that's right. Verse 1. If then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is, mm. seated at the right hand of God. Ah. Yes. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. Mm -hmm. Verse 4, when Christ, who is your life, mm -hmm. appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Marvelous well, summary. Ah, wow. Wonderful. There's Psalm 110, 1, 23 times, <laughs> quoted more often than yeah. any other verse in the Old Testament. By far, there it is in verse 1, the Messiah is seated at the right hand of God. That's the Adoni, mm. not Adonai. Mm. The Adoni, not Yahweh, of Psalm 110, one, which governs the whole of New Testament Christology. Well, well, you know, and this uh, uh, this particular verse, verse one, mm. Uh, mm. that so beautifully reflects that. Mm -hmm. uh, that was a very pivotal verse for me in my growth and development. And from yes. from where I had been in in my particular background mm -hmm. uh, uh, in the uh, in the Wonders Movement. Jesus really was God. So all of the business about the idea of Jesus at the right hand of God was a little <laughs> bit of a problem. So we yeah. usually just kind of wave that away with saying, well, that just means power or something. Yes. We weren't really getting it at all. And uh, oh, so, uh, but yeah. by the kindness of God, yeah. uh, I still remember uh, beginning to read the book of Colossians and I came yeah. to this third chapter, as a good oneness fellow, well, one yep. good oneness yes. guy. Yes, yes. And I came to this third chapter, began reading the yes. first verse, and my wife and I were reading together. And uh, I read that. If then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, mm -hmm. where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Yeah. And for the first time in my life, Marvelous. it struck me. Jesus really is a separate individual from the Father. In order for somebody to be at the right hand of somebody, there, you can't just wave all that away. There has to be somebody to be at the right hand of. And he's at the right hand of God. You've got yes. to have those those uh, dynamics in order for it to you make mean he any wasn't sense. sitting at his own right hand. <laughs> That's right. Wow! <laughs> and the light flashed. Imagine that. That's right. Isn't that wonderful? It, and then after a while, you begin to how did I ever think I the way I thought? I but but I did. And I really I really believe that. But God was very kind to me. Yes. And helped me to realize uh, to see through my own mm -hmm. dullness on that. That's right. And to come to see, uh, mm -hmm. hey, Jesus mm -hmm. is the Christ of God, he sits at the right hand mm. of God. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, you know, they're different uh, persons. Yeah, there, it's certainly, yeah. Uh, he has great power that the one he's seated at the right hand of oh, has of given him. <laughs> yeah, that's wonderful. Yeah. But uh, he has that power and he has yes. that great authority that God has given him, but he's still at yes. his right hand. And Brilliant. I that, think that's uh, wonderful. Psalm 101 has yet to, to impact the public. Isn't that right? Uh, we're in the beginning now. I mean, everybody who's listening yeah. to us, that's right. hopefully, will write to the press, write to the top 
Bible men yeah. everywhere. That's right. Have you thought about Psalm 110? 110 and where one. Messiah that's right. is that's the right. man, that's right. Adonai, that's 195 right. times, not deity, <laughs> as distinct from another person yes. called Yahweh, who is the one God, the Father. Well, How easy is that? That's, that's right. Well, well, I love it. You know, my whole life has been so transformed yes. ever since I realized yes. the man Christ Jesus is at the right hand yeah. of God. Yeah. And that's the great mystery, by the way, yeah. that a man would be at the right hand it of God. It is. Isn't that the whole thing in Hebrews right. 1, the whole chapter? Oh, the yeah. whole key is that a man would be yeah. seated at the right hand of God. Isn't not an angel, yeah. not some other being, yeah. but a, that a man, yeah. a human being now, yeah. is seated at the right hand yeah. of God. And if God wants yeah, to do that, let him do it. You yeah, know, let him do it. That's wrong. Be a man. <laughs> what do you mean? You, the Bible doesn't say a mere man. Right. It says the sinless virgin man has been exalted to the right, exactly right If God wants to do that with his chosen man, let him do it. That's exactly we tend right. to make the laws all the time. With Bible exegetes you That's know, right. continually imposing right. their own things That's on right. what God yeah. may or may not That's do right. according to our system. Uh, you have to ask yourself before you tell what wise. God may or may not do, did you mention that to God? You know, did you tell him he can or cannot do that's this? That's right. Our traditions it's, it's, have done that. I know. They they really God have. in the know. That's, that's, right. that's very serious that's because right. ultimately the wrath of God yeah. will fall upon yeah. them. You begin to realize mm. that God did not put it in the perspective of a mere man or a flesh part or all this nonsense. <laughs> he exactly. called him my son. Yes. He was his begotten son, yes. begotten in Mary. Of course. But he called him my son yes. whom I love. Yes. I'm pleased with yes. him. I yes. love him. Yes. And uh, so it's a wonderful thing. It you know, it's just beautiful. And he wasn't loving himself. That's the whole thing was <laughs> a nightmare for children, you think. <laughs> How in the world? You must have had a terrible right. time. Let's do training and training. Trying to explain this to a child. Yeah. It's you know, it's, 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 it's really, uh, we did these things in yeah. ignorance, but I, yeah. you know, I've asked God to forgive me for what yeah. I was doing to his oh, son. Yeah. I turned the wonderful, true human son of mm -hmm. God mm -hmm. into a, quote, flesh part mm -hmm. or something. Something or another mm -hmm. that God just got in and talked out of or worked. Around. That's awful. It's terrible. It's awful. I've asked God to forgive me for that. Yeah, and I think he has. It was kind of him to let me oh, yes. see this. And, yes. and I've been rejoicing yes. ever since. Absolutely. I'm just very happy. Most people have not thought about this. Well, that's right. That they've rejected another view. They haven't given them time as they should. Mm -hmm to test everything carefully. Listen to what yes, your yes. church teaches. Get a book or two and read up on the history of dogma. Yes. Find out. Because you would do this with any insurance policy. Things that you take seriously, you right. with the fine print. Exactly. But you sit there in church, gullibly accepting <laughs> what the church That's teaches right. you. That's exactly right. Be it right. Roman Catholic yeah. or Protestant. You haven't examined this. <laughs> For that we might be That's held right. guilty. That carelessness. That's exactly. You're right. And as we were saying, uh, you know, there's there's no facet of our lives that mm -hmm. we would allow ourselves to be so right. irrational. Exactly. But when it comes to religion, no, we allow ourselves to be just really foolish. Silly. I mean, would you, as I was saying before, yeah. would you go to your doctor and then come home and, and tell mm -hmm. your wife, I went to my doctor, and you know he's really three persons. Yes, and, uh, But he's not three. What are you no, talking really about? Not. We would never do that no, kind of no. really no. nonsense. No. But we allow that in religion. In church, we we yeah. allow that there's three yeah. who are God, but somehow, they're not really three right. gods, and somehow they're one God. Yeah. We don't know, yeah. because the Bible really never explains yeah, that it's idea. A, it's a mystery. It? We're not meant to understand. We're not meant to understand. Well, I'm certainly not meant to understand. God that. was not I'm capable of, of explaining this. I mean, God who invented language <laughs> That's was right. incapable of making it clear right. how many he is. <laughs> That's this right. is ultimately the human race will fall on its knees oh, and say, my, my God. Goodness, yeah. what sort of thing That's were right. we running here? What in the world were we what thinking? What were we doing? What, what were, were we, we thinking? thinking? That's right. <laughs> we weren't thinking. <laughs> we sure were. <laughs> well, this is wonderful, though. That uh, that yeah. verse 1 has meant so much to me oh, through the years. That's fascinating. I think God really just used that oh, as yes. an opportunity oh, yes. to give me insight. And uh, Yes. And, and really, yes. uh, by extension, that is Psalm 110 and 1, isn't it? It is. It, it is entirely like that. Right. I remember standing in my home, earlier home in, in Georgia, in Brooks, and, and wondering, like, what does it mean, that second law there? I never thought about it. <laughs> I can see the road books here, and I pulled down a, a Young's Concordance. Mm -hmm. I didn't, I've never owned a Strong's, but a Young's Concordance, and I, it's still marked to this day. I went through all of those 195 occurrences of Adonai, and I thought, you said me. It never means God. And I thought, <laughs> the Jews had the wit and the sense to use a form of God a form of Lord, which means God, and a form of Lord, that, which means not God. That's right. Why not? That's, that's right. sensible. You're supposed to know who's God and who isn't. That's right. Since the word Lord can apply to the gardener in the New Testament, as well as to God, as to God, and as well as to Jesus. That's, that's right. They carefully said, let's point this, Adonai, meaning right. human Lord, occasionally an angel, and Adonai. Yes. Go to Israel and ask any person in the street, any child, you know the difference between Adonai, 
And Adonai, they'll smile at you. Don't be stupid, they'll say. We know that Adonai is God, and yes. Adoni yes. is never, ever God. And yet, the it is Christ, the Messiah, who is Adoni, Absolutely. not God. Not but, God. But the Lord Messiah. Isn't that Isn't, it's a that? miracle, right. a waiting discovery, oh, actually, yes. by many yes. people. I wish they would see it. That's Just right. a warning, the Strong's Concordance will not show you the difference. Oh, I know, of course, yeah. Some of your... Some of your <laughs> Some of your little tools along the way will let you down at times, unfortunately. You can but, consult uh, a rabbi. You have such a, a mass of information mm, now. Yeah. Go to a rabbi, march up to the synagogue, look, and talk to the rabbi yeah. about Adonai and Adonai. He knows. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, it's interesting to me that he goes on that he says, you set your mind. Uh, this, mm. The fact that Christ is at the right hand of God gives us a, a focus Yes. Then on the nature and character of our lives, because he's saying, set your mind on things that are above, yes. where Christ is at the right hand, not on the things on the earth. Yeah. So we're right. thinking about this other realm and the kingdom to of come, yes. uh, that is in anticipation here. Yes. And yes. he's saying, uh, for you have died. Mm -hmm. Now we're still living and breathing in this body. Yes. But we died metaphorically, in, died. metaphorically mm -hmm. in. Mm -hmm. uh, in, so in Christ yep. we, we died. Remember yep. back in uh, the second chapter, mm -hmm. and uh, he's telling us in verse uh, 12, mm -hmm. having been buried with mm -hmm. him mm -hmm. in baptism, you were also raised with him through the uh, powerful working of God who raised him from the dead. So you were dead in trespasses and sins. God has now made us alive. Yes. But, uh, but we've gone by way of uh, the death of Jesus Christ, participation in his death, it seems to me. Absolutely. And so... For you have died and your life is hidden with yes. Christ in God. When Christ, who is your yes. life, yes. we have no life without him. Mm. Is with, when Christ is your life appears, mm -hmm. then you will also will appear with him in glory. In the glory of the kingdom. And that's the reference to that. the second coming, clearly, right? Which wasn't 1914. Yes. <laughs> this is a visible yes. event where all Christians are going to be manifested with the glory of God shining in their faces, yes. that's the second coming, a fixed datum in the New Testament, not to be meddled with. Surely. Didn't happen in 70 AD, much less in 1885 or other dates that were misset, mm -hmm. much less in 1914. Yes, that's yes. hopelessly yeah. wrong. Yeah. <laughs> you're, refer you're referring to uh, uh, the folks who decided that Christ yes. secretly came, yes. uh, as yes. it were, back in 1914, and, yes. and that's... Uh, Yes. Uh, really, a, a kind of an awful idea. It was, it, 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 it was a doctrine, an idea of convenience, because they decided he was going to come in 1914. Yes. He didn't come, yes. so they said, "Well, maybe he did. He right. really just came secretly." We don't, we don't know. That's yet. a very a, feeble form yeah. of excuse. Actually. Doesn't Best, work well. Better to fall your knees on your knees and repent, beg God for forgiveness, and not right. set dates. The parousia is a, a, a visible event, clear, yes. a single future mm -hmm. post-tribulational event, mm -hmm. stupendous significance. Wow. When we are going to be glorified, and we're going to be marveling then at the fact that our faces will shine yes. like Wonderful. the sun in its strength, yeah. as Jesus said, quoting Daniel chapter 12. Mm. People need to cast it on this marvelous event, right? Yeah. It's coming. And this, and this uh, lovely then, uh, John's, we don't know exactly what we're going to be like, but we do know when he appears, right. we he will be like as he is. We're going to we'll be... see him uh, as he is. Yeah. And even eat and drink with him. I think so. That's right. So there is a continuity of some sort. I like that. present life and the future. I like that. We'll still yes. know each individual. We're going to be introduced so to Abraham, not some sort of uh, metamorphosed yeah. Abraham who's now nebulous spook. Yes, no, not so. Abraham, yes. the, the character, yes. is still Abraham in yeah. the resurrection. Yeah. That's where, to me, the, uh, all of the, the Eastern religions and oh, all of this uh, uh, stuff about, you know, mm -hmm. s spirits being uh, mm -hmm. incarnated and mm -hmm. reincarnated, all this is, ah! Uh, yeah. And you don't know what you're going to be in the end, you right. just go back to being a part of the... Nirvana. No, yes, the Nirvana. Absorbed into the great nothing. <laughs> The, the Bible is, is not giving us that picture Hard. at all. Very unexciting the, to be uh, to be absorbed into the great. Nothing. I know. That's right. What would that be? We I'd have, rather meet Jesus and Abraham and Isaac and right. Jacob. That sounds that's a right. lot more. That's right. Isn't it? The the scriptural picture is much more rich to me, more beautiful, oh. powerful. You'll know people. They will be what they are. They mm. and you know. I think uh, that's an exciting possibility. That's there. right. I, I think that's wonderful. And they'll know you. We'll know even as we are known. It's the only like religion, actually, that does that. It's the only religion on earth which says that you are what you are forever. Your identity is precious for God. You're going yes. to remain who you are. Jesus is still a Jew, 
the man Messiah at the right hand of the Father is still actually a Jew. Because yeah. he was originally a Jew. Well, there you go. Mary. That's exactly right. I love it. Verse 5. Mm-hmm. He's picking up then uh, this when uh, lo- uh, Christ, mm-hmm. who is our life, mm-hmm. appears, mm-hmm. Uh, then we'll appear with him in, mm-hmm. in glory. Verse 5. What do we want to live like then? Considering yeah, that that's therefore. the end of this. This is where we're headed. Right. What do you want to do? Mm. Put to death, therefore, mm-hmm. verse 5, what is earthly in you, mm-hmm. sexual immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire, mm-hmm. and covetousness, mm. which is idolatry. On account of these, the wrath of God is coming. In these you too once walked when you were living in them, but now you must put them all away anger, wrath, malice, slander, and obscene talk from your mouth. Do not lie to one another, seeing that you have put on the old self with its practices, and have put on the new self, which is being renewed in knowledge after the image of its creator. Mm -hmm. Here there is not Greek and Jew, circumcised and uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, Mm. slave, free, but Christ is all and in all. Yes. Wow. Powerful. That is amazing, isn't mm-hmm. it? I, I like it a lot. The new image then of the new man, the new Adam in Christ, right? The created one here in, in, in 10. According to the image of the one who created him. We are in the image of God, but it's the true image of God that Adam lost. Right. So repentance then is reversing what Adam did wrong in order to do it right, and Jesus is the model of how that works. Exactly. The pioneer. Yeah. And, and again, uh, as we were speaking in the first chapter, mm-hmm. uh, we, we said that people are misled in uh, the first chapter when they begin to look at verse 15, 16, so on, yes. and they're thinking in terms of only the original Genesis mm-hmm. creation. Yeah. Right here we have a new man mm-hmm. who's being created. Mm-hmm. So we don't even have to leave this writing of Paul's, and he's talking to us again yes. about the significance of this new creation and us being renewed in knowledge after the image of its creator. So we have a new creation going on. The creation in Christ Jesus. It's all, it's it's wonderful, it's new. And we're talking about creation now of people who will indeed be immortal, Mm -hmm. even as Christ Mm -hmm. is raised from the dead, never to die again, Mm -hmm. Romans 6 and 10. Uh, death will no longer yes. have any you dominion over it. You think the public would be interested in immortality? Oh, I think I mean, so. People yes. spend a lot of money to increase their, their years by several. You know, they, <laughs> they diet and they drink the right things and eat right. the right things yeah. to preserve life for another five years. Right. We're talking here about living forever and ever. Well, that's right. Is there anything that could be more interesting than that? I would hope <laughs> that's not. right. That's right. But uh, I would think that every Christian would want to take a good look at the kinds of things that he's enumerating. <laughs> yes. And yes. there's nothing that says this is an all-inclusive list at all. <laughs> uh, you can read Paul in Galatians yeah. 5 and uh, recall that we read about the work lash that mm. he talks about. It's sort of a similar yes, uh, yeah. line. Yes. But what are you talking about? He's talking about sexual immorality, yeah. impurity, passion, evil desire, covetousness, which he says is idolatry. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he said, on account of these things, the wrath of God is coming. Yes. So we certainly, yes. as uh, in this new creation, mm-hmm. we don't want to be partakers of that old earthly Aren't business. And, and, no. and, and that would be, uh, would be terrible. The wrath of God is coming. That, that's a marvelous reminiscence of John 3.36. He was disobeying the Son. The wrath of God is hanging over oh, him. Oh, yes. I understand yes. that. It's not just a, a horrible doctrine of fury. It actually makes perfect common sense that if you're going to have the creative power of babies brought into the world, they mm-hmm. give them a nest. Yes. How about two parents and a marriage before you have a child? That sounds rather revolutionary. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> and more right. children in some quarters were aborted than were born mm-hmm. this last year. Yeah. This is an atrocious thing. God, it makes God very angry. That's right. Because it's so cruel. That's right. And so the wrath of God then is hanging over every sort of misconduct. Yes. But not Sabbath keeping, holy days, and new moons. Yes. That's not this. That's a, <laughs> Sexual purity is that, very much this. That's right. Here. That's exactly right. Uh-huh. Uh, well, in the same writing, we have that contrast. Yeah. On the one side, he's saying, "Don't let anybody come along and tell you you need to be worried about you that's know right. Sabbath days and yes. new moons and all that's this right. sort of." Don't don't even be drawn into that. It's 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 more than a waste of time. It's detrimental. It's harmful. That's right. But here, we get the other side of this right. picture. He's going to say, hey, here's the way we're supposed to live. 
not by keeping ha yeah. Sabbath days and holy days yeah. and such as yeah. that, and uh, worrying about uh, you know uh, uh, dietary yeah. restrictions, but mm -hmm. we do want to be living in such mm -hmm. a fashion that we do not hold on to what's earthly, yeah. such as sexual yeah. immorality, yeah. impurity, passion, yeah. evil desire, and Green. covetousness, which mm -hmm. is idolatry. Yeah. We should flee all those things. That's that's right. Yeah. That's, that's exactly. And, right. The other would be a distraction, wouldn't it? Absolutely. We haven't got energy to worry about having shrimp or not at night. <laughs> That's not an issue. Yeah, Half right. a glass of wine, you're not going to die. Jesus yes. modeled something like that of freedom. That's right. You want not to have it, that's your own choice. Yes. But these are not the issues. Absolutely. The issues are sexual purity, not being an mm. idolater by greediness for mm. things that you don't need. Don't need to wow. have. Those are the real key issues. The other is merely a distraction, isn't it? Yes, it wastes absolutely. time and yeah. energy. And, and how much would it be that while we master in our minds yeah. to focus on such things as dietary restrictions, yeah. that they, oh, I've mastered that, yes. or uh, such matters as yes. uh, the Sabbath and, yes. uh, and holy days. We mastered those things. We may fool ourselves into thinking, well, we please God. When in reality, many of these other issues yes. are then still hanging with us, that's very, very and uh, we've we've only misled ourselves by thinking pursuing those other things. That's right. we, it's actually a distraction. Yeah, I suppose we should say that we have figured out that guess what? There were two thieves either side of Jesus when he died. We figured that out. <laughs> yes. uh, but we don't believe in water baptism. <laughs> you yes. See, this is the madness yes, of religion done wrong. It, it's thoroughly disturbing because it destroys the most obvious commands that we are to be water baptized. That's nothing to argue That's about. Right. That's simply a That's plain right. fact. The other things are distractions, dangerous ones. Wow. Well, and, and might we then uh, fake ourselves out or fake out our fellow man by saying, oh, but I keep the dietary restrictions. Mm -hmm. But look at this. This is much tougher. But verse 8, but now you must put them all away. Anger, mm -hmm. wrath, mm -hmm. malice, oh, yes. slander, obscene talk yes. from out of your mouth. Much harder. Wow, don't lie to one another. Mm -hmm. Being, seeing that you have put off the old self yes. with its practices and have put on the new self, which is being renewed in knowledge after mm -hmm. the image of its creator. We have a new creation going on That's here. Right. Adam was a, yes. the man Adam was a first creation mm -hmm. back there. Clearly. This is a new creation mm -hmm. going on now in Christ Jesus. And Pretty now, clear, isn't it, really? Yeah. It, it occurred to me to mention that when, when we have Christ sitting at the right hand as an intermediary, mediator, in the Roman Catholic system there was a musical chairs operation that Jesus was said to be God, so he couldn't be sitting at the right hand of God. Then Mary moved up. <laughs> oh, okay. You see, she, may, she moved up into the mediatrix <laughs> position. That's a musical chairs. <laughs> That's a shuffling of positions. Well, Mary actually is dead in Scripture. <laughs> so lighting candles to Mary doesn't help you a lot. You might as well save your money on the candles, <laughs> yes. because Mary's not going to be listening right, to your right. prayers. Yeah. Jesus is the mediator. I like this, uh, the 11th uh, mm -hmm. verse. Here, here in this new creation, Mm -hmm. uh, there is not Greek and Jew, yes. circumcised, uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, mm. slave, free, mm -hmm. but Christ is all and in all. Mm -hmm. And I think that's, that's wonderful. Paul, in saying that, though, is not, and we know by his larger context, even in this writing, uh, he's not erasing sexual identity not at people. all he's not, not erasing no. and saying well uh, uh, you know what I think what he's saying is all are uh, one before God exactly. they're all acceptable mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. Christ and there's not a distinction in him no. I receive you because you're a male but I will not receive you because you're a female or and so on not that we are one in Christ in that sense because of before yeah. God so. but Paul is going to and we'll get to it here in a few minutes He's going to, in this very same chapter, mm -hmm. explain further, mm -hmm. develop his thoughts, and he's going to be saying about, he's going to talk about wives and husbands yes. and children. Yes. Yes. He's going to talk about those who are slaves. Yes. He is not failing to recognize yeah. the, uh, uh, the state that we are still in, yeah. in this present sure. uh, existence, this present world. Where there is a hierarchy. Of course. It still exists. Sure. And there's very, very factors in there. Yeah. Uh, you know, he can say there is neither male nor female, but when the lady who has heard that gets home, she has children to feed, and she's still their mother. And That's Paul is going, he's very recognized, uh, you know, very right. aware of that. The difference That's of stages. Sure. So you've noticed that the women bear the children. Sure. Poor old men, they don't get to do that. That's There's right. a difference. That's and right. yet we're all equal before God. This before is very God. easy. That's exactly right. right. So we have to keep this in balance Absolutely. as Paul himself yes. uh, intended. Indeed. So, uh, Verse 12, mm -hmm. put on then as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, mm -hmm. compassionate hearts, 
kindness, mm. humility, meekness, and patience. Verse 13, bearing with one another, and if one has a complaint against another, forgiving each mm. other, as the Lord has forgiven you, so you must also forgive. Mm -hmm. Oh, what mm -hmm. a beautiful exhortation. Mm -hmm. Verse 14, mm -hmm. and above all these, put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. Wow. Verse 15, and let the peace of Christ rule in your heart, mm -hmm. to which indeed you were called in one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs with thankfulness in your hearts to God. There's that thankfulness thing. Yes, again, and connected with prayer. Verse 17, whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Whoa, Marvelous. isn't this lovely? It's wonderful. Yeah. The Word of Christ, of course, is not just the Bible. Mm. It's the message as given by Christ. Absolutely. As well as the message about Him. But Certainly. some translations mislead us there, and they simply say it's a word about Christ. It's, no, it's the word that Jesus delivered as gospel. Mm. He's the first preacher of the gospel, yeah. Hebrews 2, 3, mm -hmm. Mark 1, 14 and 15. And so that uh, so-called subjective mm -hmm. genesis, it's the message which came from Jesus. Mm -hmm. Not just a message about it. Well, I heard that he died and rose. That's fine too. Yeah. But people forget that. In That's right. That Christianity is, in fact, based on the teaching of Messiah Jesus. Yes, as yes. Starts. Absolutely. And without that, we really don't have anything. Nothing. He, it's, Nothing. he delivered the terms yes. of his covenant. Yes. He delivered the terms Excellent. of his Torah, as it were. Yes. And now we're, we're living in that. And that, those words, That's right. uh, that's everything. You know, Jesus right. did say uh, in uh, John uh, 12 and 48, mm. uh, you know, the one who rejects me and, and mm. doesn't receive my words, there's one that judges him. The yes. word which I have spoken, yes. the same shall judge him in the last day. That's very day. clear. Yeah, That's the that standard, one? the words yes. of Jesus. He raises his voice there in John 12. Yes. If anybody's in any doubt about that, they should read that passage. John right. 12, verses 44 and following. I like that. And then Jesus, having given all the words of the yes. covenant, dies to ratify the covenant. Yeah, wow. But people forget the words. They're, oh, it's great. Jesus died for me. It's fantastic. That's wonderful. What about the words that he taught as gospel? It is fantastic. Oh, they say those are for the Jews. <laughs> no, no. They're for us Christians yes. of all races. Wow. Yes, absolutely. Well, I think, you know, the, uh, we've just read what... Uh, this tra uh, mm -hmm. this particular uh, yes. translation is saying is a paragraph. We just read the other paragraph a minute ago. The two are in contrast in a way. He, the first paragraph begins, put to death, therefore, mm -hmm. what is earthly in you, sexual mm -hmm. immorality, mm -hmm. impurity, and so on mm -hmm. and so forth. This, uh, this paragraph that begins in verse 12 is uh, in contrast to that then, and it says, put on then, as yeah. God's chosen ones, mm -hmm. holy and beloved, compassionate hearts, mm -hmm. kindness, humility, meekness, and isn't it wonderful? It's showing the contrast Absolutely. between uh, yeah. these, these uh, two yeah. ways of life. And that's a tall order, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And let's not kid people. This no, is right. easy stuff. That's right. You're going to have to apply yourself. <laughs> I would think so. Yes. Uh, this ideal is a very high standard. But you know, God is training his Navy SEALs. <laughs> rule in the kingdom. Can he not expect to have choice people? I like well, that. Chosen go. people, That's choice right. people. That's right. We put our experts in various fields through the most severe training, don't we? Well, that's right. We pick that's up. Right. We we drop the ones who are not making the grade. <laughs> that's right. Cannot God do that through Jesus if He wants to select His ruling group well, that's in the right. kingdom with Absolutely. Messiah? Maybe He'd want to test them severely before He allows them. That's to right. let loose on the yeah. new stage of yeah. the kingdom of God, the millennium, That's right. the first stage of the kingdom of God on earth. Verse 18. Wives, submit to your husbands, mm -hmm. as is fitting in the Lord. Mm -hmm. 19. Husbands, love your wives, and do not be harsh with them. 20. Children, obey your parents in everything, for this pleases the Lord. Yes. 21. Fathers, do not provoke your children, mm -hmm. lest they become discouraged. Yes. 22. Slaves, obey in everything those who are your earthly masters, not by a way of eye service as mm -hmm. people pleasers, but with sincerity yes. of heart, fearing the Lord. Yes. Verse 23. Whatever you do, work heartily as for the Lord and not for men, 
knowing that from the Lord you will receive the inheritance as your reward. Mm -hmm. You are serving the Lord Christ. Verse 25, For the wrongdoer will be paid back for the wrong he has done. And there is no partiality. My goodness. Wow. Isn't that amazing? I love 324 there. Knowing that from the Lord you will receive the reward, which is not going to heaven, play harps on pink clouds, the reward of the inheritance of yes. the kingdom promised to Abraham, yes. promised to Jesus. It's very important to have the reward clear, isn't it? It's very yes. important to have the reward, the objective. That's right. I mean, who would run in a marathon not knowing where the end is? That's right. Who would run a hundred yard dash without seeing the gold medal at the end? Well, that's right. Or the end tape? We none of us do that. That's right. So is Christianity. There's an end to this process. Right. It's a reward for what you've done. We're going to be judged entirely in what we've done. That's right. You do bad, you're going to be in trouble. Yes. You do good, you obey Jesus, you're going to get rewarded for that. Absolutely. Through faith, of course, all of this is through faith. But you better do something. That's right. Faith without works is dead, as James said. Mm -hmm. Well, and this is the contrast, isn't it, that we were talking about earlier, too. Beginning in verse 18, we were saying earlier that uh, we have this whole business in uh, the 11th verse mm -hmm. of the third chapter mm -hmm. where he's saying, uh, in Christ there is not Greek and Jew, mm -hmm. circumcised, uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave, mm -hmm. free, but Christ is all in all. Mm -hmm. Well, but now we come down to verse 18 and yeah. we discover that Paul is uh, very realistic, very pragmatic, and he says, oh, by the way, we're still here. <laughs> Don't miss that. Uh, while we have our place and station with God, irrespective of these various earthly issues, uh, uh, yeah. nevertheless, uh, we do have these matters. So we, then he gives every bit of advice. But notice, yeah. he, the Lord is tied into these things in his mm -hmm. view of it. He's saying in verse 18, Wives, submit to your husbands, uh, because I think you should. He doesn't say that. As is fitting in the Lord. Mm -hmm. So we're all in the Lord Jesus. What is it the Lord mm -hmm. Jesus wants to do with our time in this existence yeah. then? He wants us to uh, wives, submit to your husband. Husbands, love your wives and don't be harsh with them, mm -hmm. for goodness sakes. Mm -hmm. uh, children, obey your parents mm -hmm. uh, in everything. Yeah. Uh, for this pleases the Lord. Wow. Ah, so we shouldn't be... Uh, playing games with these words and saying, oh, mm -hmm. you know, Paul thought this and Paul thought that, and I disagree with it. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Ridiculous. Paul knew yeah. the mind of Christ, yeah. and he knew the mind of God, and when he's he's saying, Sub wives, submit yourselves uh, to your husbands mm -hmm. as is fitting, as suitable in the mm -hmm. Lord, it's good. Husbands, love your wives, don't be hard for the children, obey your parents and everything. This pleases the Lord. Thank so, uh, we've got to realize, we're not just dealing, uh, people want to isolate Paul from the Lord, but you can't. The The word of the Lord is in Paul, right. and to please God, mm. Paul knew what was what oh, pleases God, and he's writing it. Not and contradicting himself. That's right, not at all. Said. And 21 is very nice in the NASU. Fathers, don't exasperate your children. Ah, mm. uh, you see that sometimes, mm -hmm. right? These poor you, children you wear them down. so wear them they're out. worn down by being told what to do. Yeah, sure. Yes, you have to, to teach them to obey, that's yes. absolutely true. Surely. And they must follow dad and learn the trade from dad, and they mm -hmm. must represent dad, sure. that's what a son does. That's right. But fathers should not exasperate their that's right. children by over-discipline, you know, not allowing them mm -hmm. to lift a finger without being told it's wrong. Mm -hmm. That's uh, not good. A, a very uh, wonderful. Very practical, and, isn't it? Yeah. And all of these things are what yeah. pleases the Lord, we yes, uh, according to Paul. Slaves uh, yeah. uh, yeah. and uh, obey Employees. and everything, those uh, who are your earthly masters. Right. Uh, Employees for us to we, we, I was going to say, we no longer, fortunately, we no longer have uh, slavery, and Paul is not endorsing it here by any means. No. Uh, he's just recognizing this is a reality in, in their world. But he says, obey them. Don't, don't, you know, uh, don't be plotting against them and don't do, uh, don't do evil. Right. Obey in everything those of your earthly masters, not by way of just eye service as people pleasers, mm -hmm. but with sincerity of heart, mm -hmm. fearing the Lord. Mm -hmm. Again, whatever we do, he said it uh, earlier mm -hmm. in verse 17, whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, mm -hmm. giving thanks to God through him. So, all these matters of subjection and consideration and honesty and service, mm -hmm. all of that is about uh, in, uh, being in the name of the Lord Jesus and yeah. pleasing God and pleasing the Lord. Why not? Uh, it makes good sense. Whatever you do, work heartily 
for, as for the Lord and not for men. Don't just do it like you're doing it for you. Right. Do it in the name of the Lord. Do it for the for His pleasure. In the character of Jesus, we might say His name is yes. the word name is so foggy for us in right. the West. What does that mean? Right. Everything should be done in character, in the character yes. that Jesus Christ displayed yeah. Himself. Yeah. That, that's wonderful. Knowing that, uh, and it's pretty mm-hmm. awful to people want to name the name Christ. Yes. But not be like him. Oh, that's helpful. You know, it's, 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 what does this do? You know? Conflicting, right? Yeah. So there is a reward. Two people don't like that. See, it's all by faith. <laughs> yes. Nothing I can do. Yes. Oh, yes, there is. Yes. This is the work of faith. Jesus that's said right. that you believe yes. and do what Jesus that's said. Right. The key verse, Hebrews five nine. Salvation comes to those who obey Jesus. Absolutely. And not to those who disobey him. That's exactly right. No salvation. That's right. Very clear. Very easy. Yeah. The system actually is yeah. very straightforward yeah. until we muddled it up with sure. our theological books. Sure. And, and uh, uh, I would I would encourage anyone uh, if you have doubt that the obedience to Jesus yes. Christ is essential and critical, yes. just start reading your Bible. Absolutely. Uh, and Look and don't allow people to proof text for yeah. you and pull this verse out of context and say, but Paul said this. Well, read all of what Paul said. Read it all, and then see what you think. Especially the key verses and, like yeah. the obedience of faith. We stress that. Exactly. Oh, no. 1.5 yes. of Romans and 15.20. Absolutely. Framing the book of Romans. Absolutely. Say, the obedience of faith. Mm-hmm. Isn't that mm-hmm. easy? Isn't that simple? Mm-hmm. It, at least as a concept. Right. It's very easy. But, and uh, Paul is encouraging the people uh, mm-hmm. very much in verse 24. You are serving the Lord Christ. Yes. Keep that in mind. Above all, you're serving him. Yeah. Before all. That's a very unusual Lord Christ is Luke 2 and 11. 2 and 11. Oh, it is, isn't oh, it? Oh, yes. Yeah. Lord Messiah, often the Lord Jesus Christ. Here, yeah, the Lord Messiah, same mm-hmm. thing. But without the Jesus word in the middle. And that's exactly 2 11. Yes. The Lord Messiah, yes. that's the Adonai of Psalm 110, yes. was born. Well, people in this day didn't say, well, I wonder how God got born. <laughs> that wasn't an option. Nobody was thinking about God no. getting born no. in the Bible. Or, or God dying. <laughs> or God dying, that's right. But now that has to be explained. Yeah, that's right, explained. unfortunately. unfortunately. Yeah, it's, that's the tangle. It's pretty it. ridiculous. That's the ecclesiastical we muddle we've gotten ourselves in. Mm-hmm. I mean, the human race has gone wrong in other areas. So is it possible that we got much of this wrong? <laughs> yes, Let's sir. consider My that goodness. as a possibility. Right. My good, yeah. Go back to the drawing board. And then, uh, again, verse 25, for the wrongdoer mm. will be paid back. Yes. So this is very oh, yes. uh, ominous. It's very se- yes. serious. The wrongdoer that. will be paid back yes. for the wrong he has done. We know and that. there is no, no partiality. Yeah, we break the speed yeah. limit. Absolutely. Well, are we, you know, arguing about the law, some of us do argue about it. We don't need to. There are penalties if you break the law. There are rewards if you keep it. That's right. That's right. You know, I think we should do something a little different. I think there's a a kind of a poor mm. break in the chapters yeah. at this point. You know that going on. Paul didn't write... Uh, uh, make the <laughs> chapter breaks we have nowadays. Uh, I'm glad we have them, and it's nice that that was done later. But, press the but paragraph sometimes it doesn't always <laughs> it doesn't always work out. And this is one of those cases where I think it's kind of flagrant. The the uh, thought really continues. The immediate thought yes, continues a little further. So if you go to four and verse one, yes. you really get the end of, of what might be a better ending at least for chapter three. Masters yeah. treat your slaves justly and fairly. Uh, knowing that you also have a master in heaven. I think that needs to be included with this that we just Beautiful. noticed. Beautiful yes. stuff. I love, yes. I love this. Treat your servants then as you would expect to be treated by yes. Jesus as his servants. Isn't that, now that's powerful, Does this isn't need it? a wow. theological argument? That's right. I don't think so. Yeah. Paul's words, actually Christ, Jesus' words in Paul, yeah were yeah. sufficient to revolutionize the world they live oh, in. That's right. Even though this mm-hmm. this earthly system is not mm-hmm. given up yet, it, the time has not come that Christ right. has returned to, to set it in order. That's but right. nevertheless, in the meantime, imagine these words beginning mm-hmm. in verse 18 on down through 4 and 1. Mm-hmm. How revolutionary they are. That's right. Uh, and all of it, he constantly ties it back mm-hmm. to this is what pleases the Lord. This is what pleases yes. God. This is the way we should live. Could anybody from now argue with then. that? It would seem to me this is the most beautiful system. Children born within within a marriage. Wow. Children not aborted and thrown away, torn My goodness. apart in the womb. My goodness. Servants and slaves who do a maximum day's work for what they get paid. I mean, we all believe in that's these right. ideals deep down, don't we? We that's all right. know that's the way to go. We intuitively know. Yeah, intuitively. This is right when we, we see it. And yet, yes. humanity departs uh, so far from right. these things. It's terrible. Absolutely, because the devil is the god, that's a strong word, the mm. god of this mm. present evil system. Yes. And we don't have the 
weapons to fight him off until we get the words of the God. Words, that's words that's of right. God and Jesus. That's right. That's the only safeguard. Then, that's right. To fend off mm -hmm. the lies of the devil. Oh, that's right. Well, isn't that the way that Jesus resisted the devil in Matthew 4 or Luke by 4? Scripture. Uh, by bringing the scripture to bear. And it's very powerful, isn't it? Absolutely. Wonderful. Yeah, I like Absolutely. that. Absolutely.